Well, Ikina Imewu, editor-in-chief of Africa-China Economy magazine, is one of the scholars who co-signed the letter to President Xi. He shared his views on the joint modernization between China and Africa and some challenges facing China-Africa cooperation. During modernization means making life better for the citizens of the world. It means advancing the economy. It means advancing human capital development. It also means advancing global peace. China's modernization has done so much. I see modernization going on every day in China. I have seen new cities built in China. I've seen existing cities advanced and expanding in China. I have seen new economic hubs like free trade zones, industrial cities and industrial layouts being constructed every day. Back to my country, the China Harbor Engineering built the largest seaport, deep, lakey deep seaport in Lagos. That is the largest seaport in West Africa today. There have been a lot of infrastructure addition to Nigeria through the partnership with China. That is the modernization we speak about. But the most important modernization is the modernization of grooming human beings to live above poverty, to be professionals, to be experts, to be people who will take care of themselves and contribute to good leadership in the society. And I know that China is doing that right away in Africa. I remember last year we did a project uh, to celebrate the 85 fresh graduates, CCECC trained in two Chinese universities in Xi'an and in Changsha. They are all experts in uh, transportation in, or railway engineering and ICT and administration. Those are the major gains. That is modernization. By the time we have modernized and advanced and developed experts from our citizens or the citizenry, we have modernized our world. And that is the modernization China is bringing over to reflect on Africa. And that is commendable. But FOCAC has challenges, not minded that it has been working so well, but there are challenges. And those challenges are on the problem of financing of projects, the problem of better understanding, the problem of instability in political leadership in Africa. FOCAC shouldn't keep quiet on this. China is known for very stable political leadership system. Some African countries are not like that. FOCAC should look into ways of stabilizing political leadership in Africa. Because when we have a good leadership or stable leadership, we will have a stronger and better FOCAC.